Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I would normally be live tonight, but instead Steve and I are away. So I pre-recorded this for you guys tonight. I didn't want to leave you high and dry on a holiday weekend. Um, let's see, we have 4th of July tomorrow in the United States. We are celebrating the independence of our country with lots of fireworks and festivities. And you guys can see that I am all blinged out. Yeah, I got my 4th of July on. I got my red shirt on. It's the only red shirt that I own. Isn't that funny? I like red. I don't know. Anyways, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend. We had such a busy few days that my head is spinning like I feel like my family's trying to kill me <laughs> no they're not but oh my gosh it's been crazy um so it started out Thursday with uh Anna coming up with a brilliant idea that she would like to do a bunch of decorating now my Anna my stepdaughter Anna is a real estate agent and um, Haley and Jared, who you guys all know, right? Um, Haley and Jared just bought a house and they're closing on Friday, last Friday, on July 1st. So Anna came up with the idea, she's always wanted to do this, but she's never been able to have the time to pull it together, is to decorate the house inside and out. Not only were Haley and Jared closing on their very first house on Friday, but it's also Haley's birthday. So Anna calls me up and says, I would love to do this. Do you want to go shopping with me for decorations? Of course. So I drop everything. Anna picks me up and we go shopping for decorations. And we bought a bunch of streamers and those little poofy balls and hang from the ceiling and a happy birthday banner and a congratulations and this big balloon and all the things. So we went and did that. And then Anna said it'd be great if we could have a birthday cake. So, okay, we get back home. She drops me off. Molly is now home from summer school. And me and Molly jump in the car and head to Dairy Queen because Haley's favorite cake is, of course, a Dairy Queen cake, ice cream cake. So we get her cake. It says happy birthday and happy home. And we bring that back home. And then what else happened for the rest of the day? It was just kind of crazy. That was on Thursday. Oh, then my mom came. My mom came into town for Haley's birthday on Thursday. So then my mom was here and then Haley came over with the babies. And then Jared came over and then we went out for dinner. We went to Solea Mexican restaurant. I point because it's right over there across the park from our house. And we had dinner and I had a margarita and a big belly full of Mexican food that's just so delicious. And then we came home and I thought, okay, my mom usually goes to sleep like fairly soon after we get home, right? And then what I do is I sneak up here and I'll work for several hours into the wee hours of the morning. Well, little Miss Val decided she wanted to stay overnight with Granny and Papa and Gigi, that's what she calls my mom, and Mai, which is Molly. So Val spent the night. Well, there's no sneaking away and working because that child has got so much energy that she's hard to get to sleep. So there was, there was no working for Kelly. Then Friday comes. Now it's Haley's birthday and my mom is here and Molly. And so Haley came over for breakfast and I made buttermilk pancakes, ooh, our favorite, and um, bacon for breakfast. And then Molly had to go to summer school. And Molly got out of summer school early. So then we left and went to this place called Mulberry Farms, which is like a big petting zoo of farm animals for kids. And that was really fun. I have to tell you a little funny story. So I grabbed $60 out of my wallet. I didn't want to drag my purse and my wallet around. I grabbed 60 bucks. I'm like, this is a farm. This will be great. We'll have money for snacks if, you know, they have snacks here, whatever. <laughs> we get up to go into the place and it's $73. Like, what? Couldn't believe it. So it was funny because... Some, um, one of Anna's friends was there with her two kids and I didn't know this, but she was standing behind us. And when she saw that I didn't have enough money to pay and my mom is pulling out money, she like went, 
Oh, and she had to go back to her car and get more money because she didn't think it cost that much either. Anyways, it was totally worth it. The kids had a great time. Um, we watched the little piggies run around and Val got to hold a chick and kittens and feed the goats and and um, pet the pony. No, we didn't get to pet the pony. The pony had a baby, so the pony wasn't, we couldn't go in by the pony, but we went on a hay ride and it was just really fun. And then we've really been into the ice cream lately and this is gonna be the death of me, but when we got done with that, then we went to a local ice cream shop in the little town by the farm and had ice cream. <laughs> and then we got back home and um, Haley had to run to go get changed and ready to, for her closing on her house. And it's her birthday, right? So <laughs> she went home and left Val with us again, which is lovely, but Granny needs to get some work done. <laughs> and so that didn't happen again. And then we went over to Haley and Jared's new house and waited for them to get there. And then we had some beverages. I made old fashions for me and my mom because we love them. And um, we did the whole birthday cake. Oh, I forgot the birthday cake at home. So Steve had to run back to our house to get the birthday cake. And then I had to call him to tell him the silverware, the plastic silverware is on the counter. He was thoughtful enough that he grabbed paper plates, not knowing that me and Anna had bought them and they were already at the house. So it's just this whole thing, right? And so that was, um, that was, that was, Friday and then as I'm recording this this is actually Saturday night and it is already 11 p.m. <laughs> because my day just got shot again so Haley came over with the babies and we had breakfast again I made French toast and venison sausages and um, they hung around the babies and Haley hung around and then um, my mom went to go take her car to the car wash. She goes to the car wash that does the inside and the outside. She loves that. And they don't have those where she lives. So I bought her gift certificates for that for her birthday. So excuse me, my nose itches. That means I'm going to get money or something, doesn't it? Hmm. Um, I have lottery tickets from our trip out west in North and South Dakota. We bought lottery tickets. So maybe I need to check those numbers. <laughs> Anyways, we had breakfast and then they hung around and then Val needed to take a nap because she kept going, oh, I want to sleep. I want to sleep. I'm like, okay. So I took her upstairs into our guest room. An hour later, she's still jacking around. <laughs> so I brought her downstairs. Haley had left with Dawson and my mom was sitting there. She was back from the car wash and I'm like, oh my good Lord. So my mom decided to go home and uh, me and Val we went to the park and we went for a walk all the way around the block thinking she'd fall asleep in the in the stroller she did not then we got back home and i filled her water table with water and we went outside and played and then we played in the pool a little bit and good lord at 3 30 we finally went in the living room and she fell asleep <laughs> it's just and then her parents came and got her at 6 30 today and I was supposed to be working most of today. So, yeah, I got her done. Don't worry. Don't worry. But I'm still not packed. And we're leaving in the morning to go to South Park. Um, we're going to be there till Wednesday. So I'm kind of excited. I went and got my fishing license today. Wisconsin resident fishing license, $5. They called me a first-time buyer. I guess it's been a long time since I bought a fishing license. <laughs> Maybe. Anywho, holy cow, that was like... The last three days have been insane, and um, I'm glad to be here tonight with you guys. <laughs> I do have a John report, so I have to tell you, I was in the kitchen, and I was sauteing on onions, and I was kind of watching out the kitchen window because I heard some things going on out there. And by the way, I had these chopped up onions in the fridge, so then I put a little bit of butter in a pan and I throw the onions in there and I saute them before I put my scrambled eggs in there. Oh my gosh, so good. Do it, try it, it's really good. Um, so anyways, I'm watching out the window, ooh, and I see John come out and he's got this mysterious big black case, kind of like a briefcase. And I'm like, ooh, I wonder what that's all about. He opened the back of his truck and put it in there. I'm like, ooh, it could be like some small power tools case, you know, like it has a, a 
cordless drill and battery operated drill and some things like that in it. Or maybe he's a spy for the CIA. I don't know. It was just a speculation. Then he comes out again as I'm standing there cooking my scrambled eggs with my sauteed onions. And he has a bigger case, a bigger case, but it's still black and it's still mysterious. And I'm like, well, that could be a big skill saw case or maybe it's something mysterious for the CIA. I don't know. But anyways, John put that case in the back of his truck and then pretty soon he left. I haven't seen him since. That was on, I wanna say probably Thursday morning right before Anna picked me up. That's my John report. I think he's up north, or maybe he's on a mission. I don't know. <gasps> maybe I'll find out some more information when he gets back. <laughs> That's my John report. There you have it. So, um, let's see, what else? I've seen a ton of fawns on my bike ride, and my not my bike ride, but my walk. Lots and lots of fawns now. They're like everywhere. Twins all over the place. Twins here, twins there, everywhere. So that's been really fun. And we found a new ice cream shop in Nina. I told you the ice cream, I don't know, I seem to be obsessed. And I told Molly, we need to make some ice cream because I have an ice cream maker and we should make some ice cream. So maybe when we get back from South Park, we'll do that with Molly. She'll love that put some flavors in it. I think cinnamon ice cream and maybe some miniature chocolate chips in our ice cream. We can make all kinds of good stuff. But we found a new ice cream place in Nina and I took Molly there. And then the next day I took Molly and Val there. Oh, and my friend Rachel, we picked her up and it was so funny because um, Val did really good. She got it, one of those little sugar cones, little pointy ones like drumsticks come in and just a little tiny ball of ice cream. And she wanted Superman, Duperman. That's what she says, she wanted Duperman. And she did really well with it. But as we're at the ice cream parlor, I was sitting in a chair and then the wall was behind me. She walked behind me and kind of hid in the corner and you know what she's doing. Do you mothers know what she's doing? Aunties, grandmas, you know what she's doing? Yeah, she's filling her pants. So <laughs> I turn around and I go, are you filling your pants? And you know what she does? She goes, no, stop. Just like that. It was so funny. She did not want me to acknowledge her. <laughs> so then we had to go home with Stinky Val. <laughs> it was so funny. Anyways, um, yeah, so Haley and Jared bought a house. It's a cute, cute little house. Hey, they're going to start painting. They're so excited to be doing all kinds of things. And um, Haley is like a master interior designer. Like she has the best, she's like Miss Pinterest. She has the best taste ever. So I can't even hardly wait to see what she does with this place. It's going to be like better homes and gardens, picturesque, right? It's going to be so fun. <laughs> Okay, so you guys know that the celebration started, yay! And our new July to December, which I call the JD Mini Catalog, is in full swing. Both of these started on Haley's birthday. And so then that posed some other issues for me. <laughs> so I had to do so much stuff for this and then I was so busy with that. But um, these are in full swing and Tonight, I'm going to be sharing with you, let me see, where is my, I, we're going to be making a Technique card for my Technique Club members using the Stylish, stylish Sketches, which is a really cool pencil art stamp set, as well as the Amazing Phrases. Amazing Phrasing. Now, this stamp is this stamp set is free with your $50 order. This one is free with your $100 order. There are 17 different sentiments in here that you could make all kinds of very cool phrases with. So we're gonna be doing that, making our technique card out of that. And then I couldn't resist. I showed you um, how I was designing a card using the hippest hippos and the hippest or the hippo dies. These are both free, free with a $50 order, free with a $50 order. Stinking adorable 
I've been having so much fun with this, but I made a swap card and I kind of shared with you what I was going to do with it, but I didn't have it finished yet. And I told you that I would share it with you. So we're going to make that card tonight with this cute little set. And then I have, um, cards at the end. I have cards from each one of these, the hippos and the stylish sketches, swap cards that I've received that I will also share with you. I have a bunch of mail to share with you because as you know, most of you, my birthday is this coming Thursday, July 7th. So I've been getting lots of cards. Yay! I love cards. Um, if you would like to get your hands on these catalogs, there is a link right below this video. When you look under the video, you're going to see something that says see more or just a little arrow, down arrow. When you click on that, it opens up all the information that I share with you. And um, there will be a host code available for you to use. If you place an order with me and your order is under $150, I appreciate you using this host code. I'm going to put it right here on the screen for you. Um, that host code really helps me out in being able to give away prizes and stuff like that. So I appreciate it. But if you would like to get hard copies of these, please click on that registration link that's under the video and um, fill it in. And I would be happy to mail catalogs. I have to tell you, I ran out of annual catalogs. And so those are coming in this next Friday. So I will get all the catalogs out in the mail. I already did two big mailings of catalogs. And um, if you haven't received yours yet, it's because I'm waiting for those annual catalogs to get here if you requested one of those. The annual catalog is came out in May. So most of you already have it. So just be aware that if you if you take a look at your catalog and make sure you have it, because that pushes my shipping over $8 to add that big catalog. And I'm happy to send it to you if you don't have it, but a lot of you do. Okay, we have prizes to give away. So there are three ways that you can win prizes. And the first way is by leaving a comment. If you leave a comment on Facebook or if you leave a comment under here on YouTube, you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have these adhesive backed hexagons to give away. These are really fun. They're very low profile. I like them a lot. Joyce McIntosh of Dayton, Nevada. These are going to be on their way to you. And this is for commenting on my Facebook Live last week. So congratulations, Joyce. I'm happy to be sending those to you. And thank you for your comment. The second way that you can earn fabulous prizes from me is by sharing this video. Now, whether you share it from the link on Facebook or share it on YouTube, there is a share button that you can share this. And I so appreciate that because it helps me grow my business. I have some of the hand pen memories and more card bases with matching envelopes. These are going out to Kimberly Malam from Talbot, Tennessee. Thank you so much for sharing my Facebook Live last week. I so appreciate it and congratulations to you too. Next up, for placing an order, I do a third drawing. And out of all my orders between my last Facebook Live and the taping of this Facebook Live, not live, <laughs> I have um, More Love stamp set. This is just a big greeting stamp set. Super fun. As well as the Ombre gift bags. These are so fun. There's lots of great ideas, too, that I use these for. And these are going out to Karen Martinez of East Vale, California. Karen, I'm so excited that you won. Thank you so much for your order. Those will be going out in the mail on probably Wednesday because Steve and I are leaving in the morning and I don't want them to sit out on my porch. Maybe I can get them in my mailbox. We'll see. If I can get them in the mailbox, we'll do Tuesday. Otherwise, I'll send them out on Wednesday when we get back. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Catalog kickoff. Oh my gosh, you guys. Our... Um, JD Catalog Kickoff and Celebration is starting on Wednesday, July 6th. This is going to be two and a half weeks 
of so much fun, creative inspiration for the new mini catalog and celebration. There's going to be seven live classes. We have super special guests that are going to be presenting as well as Barb, Dina, and I will be doing live classes to give you tons and tons of inspiration for the new catalog products. There's also going to be gallery uploads. We usually put about 45 different card ideas into a gallery for you to access anytime. Um, there's going to be mystery stamping. There'll be a fun um, game. There's lots and lots of fun content on the website as well as prize patrol. We have a lot of fun with that. Let me look at my notes here. I always, I always forget. You guys know I have a terrible, terrible memory. Um, gallery uploads, giveaways, mystery stamping. I think I said that card challenges. I forgot to mention card challenges. Those are so fun. And the card challenges, when you enter them, they are based on your participation. Okay, so it's not a contest for which card we think is the best. It's based on your participation. So everybody has an opportunity to win in those card challenges and they're so much fun. So I hope you will consider joining. The catalog kickoff can be found in the online classes in the right-hand column on my blog. Um, sign up, register for the catalog kickoff. If you are a member of Stamp Happy Academy, which is a subscription website that Barb, Dina, and I run, you get into the catalog kickoff for free. If you're not a member, I highly encourage you to join, but you can also pay $15 to get into the kickoff. If you are on our teams, levels one through three, you also get to get into the kickoff for free. We are going to have make and take packets available. All of that information is going to be shared as we start the catalog kickoff on July 6th. And don't worry, if you happen to miss and you're seeing or hearing this on the 7th or the 8th or the 9th, you still have access to all the information. It is housed on a Facebook group that you will get special admission to. And um, everything is going to be, the live classes are recorded so you can go back and watch them later. So if you happen to not be available on a certain date throughout July 6th through the 23rd, don't worry. You can go back and access everything. It's all recorded, so that's really fun too. Catalog kickoff is gonna be a blast. You don't wanna miss it. If you have any problems finding it, you can always email me at kelly at astampabove.com and I can email you the link for all the information. Whew, that's a lot of stuff, right? Don't let me forget to do mail, you guys. I have to do mail. Okay. So now we are going to turn the camera around. I have a um, fabulous technique that I'm going to share with you. I'm pretty excited about it. And the card that we're making is actually going to be the card that I am sending out to all of my Technique Club members for the month of June. Technique Club is always a month in advance. Um, so cards go out at the beginning of the next month for last month. And if you would like to join that, there's also a link under this video. You can go click on it, check out all the details of the online Technique Club, but it's really fun and you're gonna learn all about it. Okay, let's flip this camera around and get started. So this first card that I'm gonna be sharing with you tonight is my Technique Club card for the month of June. Now, I'll explain a little bit about my Technique Club and show you how you can find all the information for it when we're done making the card. Don't let me forget. <laughs> all right, we are going to start out. I've got a basic white envelope here. We've got our cardstock layers. And this is a smoky slate, five and a half by eight and a half. We've got a piece of basic white that is two by three. And I've actually got two pieces here because I'm gonna do two different versions. Some basic gray that is three quarters by three inches. Knight of Navy that is one by three. And a Cajun Craze that is one and a half by four. I've also got a scrap of white here. We're gonna test out some of our Stampin' Blends. I've got Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie. You're gonna need a bone folder. 
and a spritzer. I've got Memento Black Ink, Cajun Craze, and Smoky Slate here, as well as the black matte dots and my dimensionals. We're gonna be playing with a couple celebration stamp sets. Now you guys know that celebration started on Friday, which is my Haley's birthday, by the way, and it was my father's birthday too. And um, during celebration, of course, you get a free item out of this brochure with every $50 that you purchase, or some of our items require a $100 purchase because they're bigger to get them free. So this brochure, oh, love all this stuff, but this is the stylist sketches. This is one of the free $50 with your $50 order before tax and shipping, you can choose this. And I love these pencil sketches in here. And then the amazing phrasing is free with a $100 order. And that has 17 different photopolymer stamps. And you can see all the fabulous cards that Stampin' Up! has created with this cute sentiment set. If you do not have the catalogs, please contact me. I am happy to share them with you. We've got two fantastic things going on. Celebration lasts through August, and then the um, holiday mini catalog is good through January 4th. And I would be happy to mail these if you eat mail these to you if you email me. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at astampabove.com. Okay, back to our project. So I love, I love these images. I think they're so pretty. There's four different stamps in here. I'm going to take my card base and get that folded and then burnish my edge good with my bone folder. Now we're gonna do our technique first because of course I wanna share this with you. Um, I am going to spritz my cardstock with a little bit of water. And I've just got bit water in here. These spritzers are awesome. They're in my online store. You just type in spritzer in the search and you'll find them. You get two in a pack. I don't remember how much they are, but they're really inexpensive. So what I just did is I'm misting my cardstock and I am pushing this into my hand. And what I'm doing here, we're gonna do a faux suede technique. Maybe I didn't say that. But um, what I'm gonna do here is I am breaking down the fibers in my paper. And don't worry if while you're doing this, I know it's a little scary, but remember this is just paper. It'll be okay. <laughs> if it doesn't work out for you, you can grab another piece. Um, a lot of times people are afraid to do this to their cardstock. It's just a piece of paper. You can, you can redo it, you can whatever. Um, don't be afraid of your paper. So I'm just breaking down my fibers here and I like to push my fingernails in there. And by the way, do you love my 4th of July fingernails? Oh my gosh, I am excited to be celebrating the 4th of July in the United States on July 4th, of course. And uh, I got my nails done for the festivities. Now, you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to act like you're curling ribbon. And when you curl ribbon, you put it on your scissors, right? And you just pull it. Now this, this cardstock is, is damp, so you don't wanna to get too crazy. Don't pull too hard. But what we're doing is we're breaking down, breaking down all the fibers and paper. Did you guys know that? There's a whole chemistry that goes along with paper, and I know that because I live in the paper valley. And paper mills are very, were very popular here in Wisconsin. My husband spent most of his career um, rebuilding and doing shutdowns at paper mills. He's a steam fitter. And paper pulp is very stink stinky. It's a stinky, dirty place to work. But um, we needed paper, right? And now our mills are all closing because we don't really use paper anymore to um, you know, a big extent. Can, could you imagine a time when we didn't print phone books? Like, I mean, we they still do, but nobody really uses them. Or encyclopedias, that's gone. Even books, I, I use a Kindle, so I don't even buy books. I buy books for the kids though. So anyways, this technique is a faux suede technique. So you're gonna keep 
breaking down the fibers in your paper. Now, when you feel like, mm, that feels pretty floppy to me, right? That's, that's pretty floppy. You're going to grab your Take Your Pick tool and I'm just going to get a corner here and what I'm doing is I am peeling back the top layer of my paper because this we're gonna separate this. Now, you have to be careful when you do this because if you didn't break your paper down enough, this will tear and you won't get two pieces out of it. And sometimes that's okay, but sometimes you want it to see how it mine just tore there. Don't panic. It's not a big deal. Just get it going again. And I think I need to break my break my fibers down just a little bit more right here. So I'm just going to kind of concentrate in that area, both sides. We're going to, and we're going to try to come in from a different place here and avoid that tear. There we go. Now we've got it running again. Don't, don't let that make you crazy. It's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to start from the other end. You may need to spray a little bit more water. And I know this is kind of a putsy little technique, but let me tell you, it's really worth it because it's pretty cool. So this is my technique for last month. People um, join my technique club. First of all, you have to tell me you're gonna join. I'll send you all the details. And then you place a minimum $25 order with me each month for six months. And when your six months is up, you get to tell me what you would like. You get a $30 product credit. Oh, look at this. It's separated kind of two different ways here. I'm just going to pull that off. And I will, that's your benefit of being in my club, is you get a $30 product credit. And you have to be in it for six consecutive months, $25 order each month. Now, I have lots of times um, other demonstrators, people who are discount shoppers under somebody else, say, oh my gosh, I would love to have your technique, but I'm already um, a demonstrator. That's okay. I have lots of demonstrators in my technique club. You can join my technique club. All you have to do is place a minimum $25 order with me each month. Okay, so here is our piece. And the cool part about this is you can see that it looks now like suede. It's got some fibers sticking up. It's very cool looking. This is our faux suede technique. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna add this to our card. We're gonna make a card with this. And I'm going to grab my stamps. I've got Smoky Slate ink with Smoky Slate cardstock and then this image with the leaves and like some little, um, I don't think it's acorns, but there's like little bulbs on these leaves. I don't know what you would call them, but they're neat looking. And I'm just going to come in here and put in a very like um, soft type of background here. And as long as we've got this leaf, we're gonna stamp on the inside. And let's not forget to decorate up our envelope because I think that is always very important. And I'm just gonna do it twice here. I think that looks pretty cool down there. Just a little bit of something. And next we are going to take our Cajun Craze. I'm gonna do this two different ways, you guys. So that's why I had two pieces of white out here. These are two by three. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Whew. that was close. That was a close call tonight, right? <laughs> Holy cow. We're gonna do the Cajun Craze ink with our fox. Oh, and I just, I really just love the detail with this. The sketch drawing, our concept artists at Stampin' Up are so very talented. I've got my chamois here. This is how I clean my stamps. Got my chamois and I'm going to change over to memento black ink i'm going to do this two different ways for you you only need one of these but i'm going to show you two different ways and you can decide which one you like better one of them we're going to use this just like it is okay look i just got black ink all over my layer let's try it again hang on you know if these things happen mm. 
my perfection level is not working that good tonight. No, I'm not perfect. Nobody is, right? <laughs> we just got to kind of roll with these kind of things. Okay, here we go. All right, we'll put our fox back there. I'm going to set this over here. Hopefully, I don't get any more messes on it. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our basic gray layer in our Memento Black ink. And then from the Amazing Phrases stamp set, I've got You've Got This. And I thought this is going to be a masculine card. And I thought, you know, I think that I would like to make a Get Well card. I always like to have those on hand and you need them for men too. It can be used for a lot of other things with this sentiment, you've got this, but I thought, mm, get well, this would be a good get well card. And this design is kind of like a geometric type design. And I think men would really, this would be a good man card. All right, so I wasn't really sure. I'm gonna color my black fox with my blends. And I've got Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie. So I was kind of goofing around with them trying to figure out which colors I wanted my fox to be. So here is the dark Cajun. And then, funny, you wouldn't think of pumpkin pie as another color to go with this, but I think it will. And you just keep blending. And I think that that orange, I think, is going to be a pretty cool color for a fox. So I am going to... Grab my dark. I always like to work with my dark color first. And I was kind of looking up foxes, make sure that I know how to color a fox because foxes have white on their face and their cheeks are kind of white. And I'm gonna follow the um, artwork that Stampin' Up! has given me for this particular fox in the in the lines, in all the little um, shading lines. That's what I'm trying to say. So, now I know my daughter Haley got a cross fox and that's a really cool looking fox. It's very different looking. This is not gonna be a cross fox. And if you look that up, a cross fox is a, I think a cross between a silver fox and a, a red fox, which is pretty cool. Okay, now I'm gonna come in. I don't know if this is gonna work or look good or not, but we're gonna we're gonna come in and start blending with our pumpkin pie. And this could be just a disaster, and we'll use the one that we stamped <laughs> in the Cajun craze. I don't know if I like this orange. Mm, it's starting to blend a little bit. The blending does so much for this, right? Fox has a little bit of white on their mouth. It usually has a much whiter <laughs> chest. But my fox has just got a little bit more color. Oh, this is looking pretty decent, I think. I'm gonna color that all in. I don't like how that looks. I should have left this whole part white here, but you'll do better on yours, I'm sure. The tip of the tail is white. I've got some white on the face. I think my fox is gonna pass for a pretty decent looking fox. All right, so let's put our card together. Here comes our piece. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take my faux suede piece and put it in the center it in the middle of my card and again you can do whatever you want with yours I'm just explaining how I did mine and here's somebody must have been Molly downstairs she's staying overnight tonight and I am pre-recording this so it's kind of late at night <laughs> You guys know that I'm kind of a late night person. Isn't that cool looking now? You can really see that faux suede look there. Now I'm gonna take my Knight of Navy and I'm going to put that right over here. 
and again, this is just, oh, I'm going to move it up a little bit. Oh, come on. This is just a very kind of a geometric layout. And I'll show you where I got this from because I got it from one uh, in a swap that I host for demonstrators. Anytime we have new catalog stuff, we've got lots of swaps going on behind the scenes, you guys. So, and then I think I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, that looks good. Really different, right? And then here comes our fox. We're gonna add, now, this is the fox that I colored. Okay, oh, this is, looks crooked, it is crooked. Hang on, I gotta fix that. Can't leave this on here crooked like that. It's gonna tear a little bit, but we're not gonna see it anyways. There we go. So now it's, now it looks crooked the other way. <laughs> I swear I haven't been drinking, <laughs> but apparently. Okay, so we have this fox. Okay, and I, I think I really like this one. And then we have just the outline, which you certainly can do. You know, men don't like a lot of fuss with their cards, and they, they do appreciate the time and effort, I think most of them do, that we put into it. And if they don't appreciate it, we don't care. Everybody needs a birthday card, right? Or a get well card or something. We don't care if they appreciate it or not. <laughs> Did I say that? I did. Okay, and now I'm just gonna bring this in and I'm going to overlap it just a little bit, put it right in the middle. Oh my gosh, is that not the kind of a neat layout, right? Then I've got my black matte dots. I thought these would look great. If I can get them out of the package. You have to be smarter than your package. <laughs> I'm going to take a small one and just kind of pop it right there. I'm gonna grab a big one and throw it right over here and then grab another small one and maybe put it up there and of course you can put as many of these on here as you would like but here is our faux suede card and it's kind of fitting that faux suede is on a man card right and then I wanted to show you where is my with my technique club so all of my technique members for the month of June Got, are, they're getting this card. I mail it off to them in the envelope and they also get a technique card with the instructions on it that says this video is going to be on July 3rd, which is tonight. And they can go to my blog and find the video and see how to do the technique. But here's a sample. This is a little piece of the faux suede on the instruction card and then also a card made with the technique. And after you've been in my club for a while, you, of course, accumulate a bunch of these, right? So you've got all kinds of techniques with the instructions, just some basic instructions, and you can go back and watch the video right on my blog. So that's what my technique club is all about, you guys. Then I wanted to show you, this is where I got the idea for this card. And this card was made by Catherine Biedes in a swap that I received and she used the Wildlife Wonder stamp set with a little bit of designer paper over here. And I stamped with the um, stylish, ske stylish sketches and changed up the green to blue and used a fox instead of a wolf. So that's where my inspiration came from for this card and I thought it would be great for my technique for June. And then I wanted to show you, I'm going to um, unplug here for a bit. I wanted to show you where you can find my Technique Club. Now you know my website is a stampabove.com, right? So um, what you do is you go to www.astampabove.com and then you're going to scroll down and here's my online classes, here's my technique club. And when you click on that, it's gonna open up this window that tells you all about my technique club and it shows some of my other techniques that I've done, tells you how to join. You need to use my monthly host code when you place your orders, if your order's under $150. And here's the code, it's always gonna be in this right-hand column. Also, I'm gonna bop back to that other window. This is my general blog. When you go to the bottom of each blog post that I do, if 
you have a hard time finding things in the right hand column you can go to the bottom here and under the follow me you're going to find that online technique club right here click that link that'll take you there and also my host code so not only is it here but it's also in that right hand column that is right here and this changes periodically sometimes more than once a month but here's all the details for the Technique Club. There's also a form that you download. You keep track of your orders so that when you get six months of orders in a row, you can submit the rewards form to me so I can give you your reward. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knew how to find that. And let's get going on our next project. And now for our second project, we are going to be using the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels as well as Memento, Black Ink, and Petal Pink. I've got my mini glue dots here, my dimensionals, the Essentials, Baker's Twine Essentials pack. We're going to be using the gray. Also my Stylish Shapes dies. We are going to be using the second to largest circle and the stinking adorable hippest hippos. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so fun. Now we're gonna use these little, this little flower die as well as our little hippo, but there are just the cutest little things in here. There's a party hat, sunglasses. Um, we've got a little bucket, an umbrella, We've got a snorkel, uh, just, and this could be sunglasses, goggles, so many cute things, flowers, splashes, some little leaves. This is super, super cute. Again, free with your $50 order. There are 19 different dies in here. And then the stamp set is free with a $50 order, and there are seven different images in here. Okay, let's get started. Oh, I have to show you this. Here's another freebie. This is called our Rings of Love. This is 12 by 12 designer series paper. And I showed this to you guys in my unboxing, but I thought, well, it doesn't hurt to show it again, right? So this is the paper we're gonna be using. And then we've got this pretty floral, another floral. Here's a fall with the colorful leaves and acorns. Oh, look at this beautiful paper. And the birds. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is beautiful. Houses, I thought this would be fun to make um, a card for Haley as a housewarming card, right? And the tree rings, and then we've got some mushrooms and some pretty foliage in bright colors, and then some trees. So, oh, and poinsettia. This looks like Christmas even. So lots and lots of different patterns in here. And I chose this because it was fun and colorful. And then I picked all of my colors. Now, I had sh I, I showed you guys on my last um, Facebook Live, I kind of showed you my creative process. Like, you know, I picked this, this, and this. So we've got Calypso Coral here. Calypso Coral is not really a color, I don't even think, in this paper. Let me look. Maybe it is. It's not, Poppy Parade is, but there's some lighter oranges in here that I thought would make this a perfect choice to choose. A choice to choose. <laughs> this is four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. And then I've got a piece of petal pink here. And this is four and a quarter by four and a half. We've got two designer series paper strips that are three quarter by four and a quarter. And then I've got another one that is five and a quarter by three quarters. We've got an inside layer that is four by five and a quarter. And then of course an envelope. So I think first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to stamp up this particular layer. And we're gonna use our petal pink Just wanted to make sure my camera was going. I didn't remember turning it on, good grief. Okay, um, where's my stamp? Here, we're gonna use this little hippo. And I am just going to 
Now, let me make sure that I've got this going the right way. Where's my ruler? I'm gonna make sure that this is my four and a quarter. Yep, so I have it, have it the right way. So we're just going to stamp our little hippopotamus all over on this layer. And this is just a cute way to use and make your own background. And the other thing that I wanna say about this is a lot of times some people don't like to color and I totally understand that. But when you look at a line art stamp set like this, I love to give you ideas on how to make cards where you don't color them. And that's what I'm doing here. So I've used my hippo, my line art, for a background for my card. Next thing we're gonna do is you need a white scrap, a petal pink scrap, and a gray scrap. Oh, we're gonna stamp up our envelope first before we change colors. So let's grab this. Oh, did you guys notice last time too, I have my nails done for the 4th of July also. <sighs> Pretty fancy, right? Miss Vicky did a really good job and I didn't get in a fight with her. So <laughs> here's our little hippopotamus. Then we're going to take this layer and I'm going to grab my Stamparatus. Now I made swap cards with this, so we made a lot of them. And what I do is I cut everything out and I design a card and then I give it to one of my helpers. So Brooke made all these for me. I made up a little template using my Stamparatus and I do that when we are making lots of a card. So what I did was I took just a white sheet of paper, I put my You're So Hip in here, and I stamped it on that white sheet of paper. Then I took my die and I lined it up and die cut the circle out of that sheet of paper. Then I die cut a whole bunch of circles and I put these back in here as a template so that it's gonna be super duper easy for me to stamp up all of these, get them straight, get them so they're not too far over the edge, just like that. I also did the same thing with my little hippos. Hang on, let me see if I can find. I had a hippo here that was die cut, but I did the same thing with the hippo, but I took that off so I could stamp it all over my peach layer, so we don't need to worry about that. But this is how I use my Stamparatus as a template when I'm making multiples of a card. Okay, next up, we are going to start assembling our cute little card here. So I am going to add this Oops, let me get my lid. Here it is. Let me get this closed up. Let's get both of these closed up. I don't want any accidents. Okay, so we're going to grab our liquid glue. And I was trying to figure out today, what am I gonna do for my Facebook Live next weekend, next Sunday? And I've got, I'll show you guys what I'm, what I'm planning. I wanted to do this one because I had everything cut out and ready to go. When I design a card, I'll show you. I take, I take my, I take my card and I cut up all the pieces and I put it in a in a cello bag like this, so that I can do videos for you. It's just a quicker, easier, more efficient way to get ready or videos or Facebook Live, because you know, sometimes I have blog hops that I have to do, and it's just easier to be ready for that. All right, next what we're gonna do here is we're going to take our little hippopotamus, I'm gonna clean this cutie patootie off, and we're going to stamp in that Memento Black ink. We're gonna do that right here on our smoky slate layer. Did I say basic gray before? I might have said basic gray, you guys. I don't remember, but if I did, this is smoky slate. It's not basic gray. Okay, then we're going to die cut that with the die that matches this hippo. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to die cut those flowers. Does anybody see the flower dies? I thought I pulled them out. Maybe I didn't. Nope, I did. Here they are. We're going to die cut some flowers out of our petal pink. Oh, before we do that, take your Wink of Stella and color some glitter onto your layer of cardstock. 
And then we're gonna just use the small flower. So die cut that right on there. And then when we have that done, here comes our cute little flower. And I hope you guys can see that glimmer on there from that Wink of Stella. It's so pretty. And here comes our little hippopotamus. Isn't he cute? Now again, I am not coloring the hippo. I've just stamped him on smoky slate. So line image used here without coloring and here without coloring. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little flower, our little die cut flower, and we're gonna cover up this little flower. Where's my take your pick tool? I like to use this to kind of position things. And if you put this down here right, it will completely cover up the line art for that other flower. Just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of this little bugger. Our cutie patootie little hippopotamus. It's hard to believe that hippopotamuses are so dangerous. <laughs> Isn't it? Like they're so chubby and cute. All right, here comes our You're So Hip. And I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna put my little strips on here. So we've got a longer strip and two strips the same size. So we're going to add this. I need to, I need to glue this down. Hang on, I'm getting out of place here. I'm just gonna have that go over just a tiny bit on that edge. I just kinda wanna make sure that my words are straight here. Then we're gonna put this right over here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that side showing of the Calypso Coral. And then we'll do, let's get this guy on there right away so we make sure we have enough room for him. And we do. <laughs> He's so cute. I think it's a curl. I don't know. I just love it. Here comes the other one. I'm gonna put this the same distance from the edge. So that matches. Isn't that a pretty color combination? I went through all my designer paper going, hmm, which paper can I use to design a card out of? And I just loved this plaid. And then it's also fabulous, right, that it's free. Oh, did I tell you guys that? I don't think I did. This is free with your $50 order. The Rings of Love designer series paper. So you can get a whole pack of that. And here comes just a three quarter inch strip that I'm gonna put along the bottom of our white layer. If you wanted to, you could stamp one of the hippos in here or put any of the dyes in here, whatever you wanna do. But I chose the designer paper. Mm, so pretty, right? Okay, then here's what I wanted to do. We have this pool party um, ribbon. It's like a sheer pool party ribbon and it's it's it would go really good on here and I'll show you a card made with that. I ran out of it. So with all the swap cards, yeah. So we are going to use the gray essential baker's twine and I wrapped it around here three times and then I'm tying it in a knot. Now this is my bow jig and um, these are super easy to make. You just drill a hole one inch apart and then half inch and half inch. Put some nails in it. You want the nails that don't have the big thick heads on it so you can pull your ribbons and twines off easily. But you can make bigger bows, smaller bows, chunk of wood, pretty simple, or if you want one, I have them for $10. So um, you just email me and I will pop you an invoice. And when you pay that, then I'll ship it off to you. I don't really make any money on these. It's just kind of a nice thing to offer for people to be able to get their hands on them. And I have a source that makes them. So there's our mini glue dot. Here comes our cutie patootie little bow. Isn't that sweet? And then the last thing that I wanna do here is I wanna add one of these iridescent jewels. These are, you guys know these are my favorite, right? I'm gonna take one of the tiny ones and I'm gonna put it right there, whoop, 
oops, in the middle, right in the middle. And then you can grab some of these other ones and we can put those in various places on, how about right here on our card because gosh, they're so pretty. And this is such a cute card. <laughs> oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Isn't that the sweetest thing ever? I just love it. Okay, let me get this put away. I've got some swap cards using the hippos that I'm gonna share with you. And I want you guys to know that I will have free downloads of these projects that we've made, free downloads available on my blog. You just go, you're, you're gonna, I can actually put a link right up here because this is pre-recorded. You're gonna go right up here and that's gonna take you to the blog post where you'll find all the dimensions and pictures and directions and even a full shopping list or ingredient list of all the colors that I use, so on and so forth. So that's gonna be on my blog. You'll be able to find that. Then here is the card using that pool party ribbon. Which do you like better? Let me know in the comments, I would be curious. I, I really like this. This works great too, but I like that pop of pool party in there. I just think it really pulls it out of here. So anyways, so there's our card. And then here is, here's our card that, our other card we made. And this was the faux suede card with the instruction sheet. This is going out to, well, it already went out to all of my Technique Club members. They get this and this and an envelope. Um, I wanted to show you, here is one that we made for Bingo. And this is a larger piece of that faux suede. And you can see that really well on here, right? How that looks like it's suede. This is just a great, great technique to use for man cards. But then I had some other cards with that stamp set. I wanna show you where I got my inspiration. This card was made by, um, oh, I just lost her name. Hang on, it's right here. Karen, Catherine, Catherine Bayadez. And I just loved this layout. So I wanted to use the new sketches um, stamp set. Where did that go? Right here. Stylish sketches. So here is that. That's where I got this idea from. And thank you, Catherine, for that. And then here's some other really cool cards using that stylish sketches. Isn't this cool? These are die cut leaves that you can buy in a pack from our new mini catalog. And this is that decal edge. I think that's what it's called, set of dies. Very cool. Here is another one. Isn't this neat? And again, here is another line art. We've got two cards. Oh, three cards of line art where we did not color the line art. So always good ideas if you don't want to color. I love this one too. Isn't that fun? This is that cloud background with some of our gold ribbon. All of these are just exceptional cards. Then we've got the hippo cards. So let me set these aside. Put this right over here. All right, you guys, these are so stinking adorable. I can't even tell you. Look at the sunglasses. These sunglasses are cut out of the green glimmer paper. Isn't that cute? And look, at it's a fun fold. Ah, you're so hip, love you a ton. Super sweet. Here's Rub-A-Dub-Dub, -dub, love you a ton. Isn't this cool with the silver foil paper? Really cute card. These are all swap cards that I got. Here's a super cute one, look at this. This is made by my friend Ruth Bingle and it's an easel card. Isn't that fun? Super, super cute. Here comes another one. This paper comes from the Rings of Love paper pack that I shared with you. Little boat, that's a little propeller for the boat. Super duper cute, right? 
And here comes another one. Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love these. Got that brick and mortar background. What a great color combination. I really love this. Super cute. Here comes another one. Isn't this sweet? That decal um, set of dies again. Super, super cute. And then this one. Holy cow. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I don't know what this is called, but it is crazy fun. It's a fantastic card. Oh, look, it even opens. I didn't even realize that. I just took this out of the package today. This is a swap card. This was a fun fold swap that I got. Is that not the sweetest thing ever? And then this just sits up like this. Maybe we'll have to make something like this, right? Look at how cute that is. <gasps> so cute. Yeah. This uses the, um, where's that word set? Right here. The amazing phrasing. That's where the hay is coming from. Hey, hey. <laughs> so cute. I love it. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of hippos. And then I have some fabulous mail to share with you. So let's hang on here. I'm gonna get through what I can. This is from Luba. She always sends me the prettiest little cards. Look at this, I love that stamp. Happy birthday. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, this is for Haley, sorry. It does say Haley. And um, I will give this to Haley. It says, Haley, wishing you all the best on your birthday with love, Luba. Luba, this is so pretty. Thank you so much for sending this. I just absolutely love this layout. Hang on, I'm trying to pop that out. There we go. All four of those popped out like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I have to make sure. And look at how pretty her envelope is. I'm going to make sure I give this to Luba. I mean, <laughs> Haley, <laughs> not Luba. <laughs> This is from Roberta Miller. Look at how pretty this is. I love the polka dots on here. And she is thanking me. She's one of my team members and she is thanking me for helping her. I helped her through something the other day. So always a pleasure, Roberta. Thank you for the card. It's beautiful. This is coming to me from Mary Stroman. Happy birthday, look at that, happy birthday, watch this. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all this crazy. Isn't this the coolest thing ever? Mary, you outdid yourself, I love it. So pretty, good grief, isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, Mary, thank you so much. We'll probably have to make one of these too, right? Yeah. Here comes a card. This is from Elaine Rebeck. Isn't this the coolest little 4th of July card? Love it. Wishing me a 4th of July. Let the loud noises begin. I feel bad for those of you with dogs because dogs do not like the fireworks, right? Our dogs used to be terrified. We don't have dogs anymore, but they were terrified. This is, thank you, Elaine. I love your card. This is, and it matches my nails. <laughs> This is from Lanny Rhodes. How pretty is this? I love this card. It's a birthday card. Thank you so much, Lanny. You are so sweet and thoughtful. Then we have Julie Hillsman. Whoa, Julie, this is awesome. I love what you did with that polka dot die. And look at that. Oh, so pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Happy birthday. And she was thanking me for a door prize that she won. And Julie is part of our team. Then we have this beautiful card. This is actually from my mother-in-law. I wonder, um, her, my sister-in-law Pam made this beautiful card. Isn't that gorgeous? And this is for our anniversary. Steve and I are celebrating our anniversary on July 4th. We've been married for 30 years. What, how did that happen? Yeah, 30 years. So we're going fishing and I bought my fishing license for $5. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I said the last time I probably bought a fishing license was when my dad was alive because we used to go to North Dakota. Well, I would I would have been I would have had to buy a license there, but I would have had one here too. And that's been since 2012, so that's a long time now. 
This is from Luba, and this is actually an anniversary card for me and Steve. Look at this. Oh, isn't that pretty? Luba, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at, I can feel those dyes on there. Love this. Created by Luba. That is very cool. Next up, we have Karen Gondon. Look at this fun card. Oh my gosh. How fun is that? Love it. I love this stamp set. Very cool. Thank you so much, Karen. Next up, we have Karen Nevin. Look at how pretty this is. I like how she put those stripes across there and then the flowers on here. This is just beautiful. And happy birthday. Thank you so much. Next, we have Luba. Here's Kelly's birthday card. This is from Luba. Look at this. Look at that butterfly. Isn't that pretty? So I have to read this to you guys because it's kind of cute. It says a birthday toast. May your home be full of love and warmth. May your cupboards never go empty. May your birthday candles not melt all over your cake. May you always have laughter in your life. May the elastic in your underwear never wear out. May your health be good and your boobs never go below your belly button. Amen, Luba. <laughs> I love this. So cute. Thank you so much. Here comes another one. This is from Tracy Gill. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, there's so much sparkly on here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love your background. So pretty. So she won the Good Feeling stamp set um, in May. And that's what she, oh, look at, it's a fun fold. I didn't even realize that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at how pretty that is. Yep. Good, 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 good stuff. Very pretty. I love this. Thank you so much, Tracy. Next up, we have Jamie Lency. Whoops. Look at how pretty this is. Yeah, but the daffodil set. I love this. You did such an amazing job on here. Now, Tracy sent me these. Or, I mean, <laughs> Jamie sent me these. These are using some new um, liquid dot things. They're called pearlized enamel effects that we have in that JD Mini catalog. And she sent these to me for me to use. So I'm assuming, yep, look at that. They're sticky. So I would use them. Let's see. Let's see how I can do this. Oh, yeah, they come right off of there. They'll stick right on here, and we can embellish cards with them. Oh, these are so cool. Love these. Love these. So we'll have to play with this a little bit. Thank you so much, Jamie. These are really cool. I'm going to put this back in here. She just put this between some window sheets. There we go. They're so pretty. Pearlized. Yeah, they're red pearl, white pearl, and like gray pearl. So I'm going to set this over here so I don't forget about that. All right, and this is the last one, you guys. This is from um, Margaret Herrick. And Margaret goes by Peg. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, happy anniversary. Thank you so much. Peg, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this fold. I love this fold. Absolutely love it. Yeah, and this one, this was from Luba. This has the 30th on it too. So two personalized, thank you, 30th wedding anniversary, 30th wedding anniversary. Okay. Last but not least, you guys, during celebration, when you join my team, you not only get a discount and all the fun goodies, but you get this planner absolutely free. This thing is so cool. It's got so much good stuff in it. I can't even tell you. Very high quality. Lots and lots of pages to add your life to. I know that I use um, a planner, and I will be using this one, but I have a different planner that I've had going, you know, for a while. And it really does help me keep my life together. <laughs> but this thing is gorgeous. Pockets, three ring binders. Somebody asked me if Stampin' Up! is going to be selling refills. I have not heard a thing about that, but here's the deal. You can get refills when this is over, like it has the years in it. You can get refills when this is over and they will line up with this. So you just find the same size page and they will have the same um, three ring holes in it 
for you to be able to refill this beautiful, beautiful planner. It's so nice, you guys. It's padded. Feels like leather. I don't know if it really is or not, but it feels like it. Got the Stampin' Up! logo on it. It's just so pretty. Such a pretty planner. Anyways, join my team during celebration. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can email me at kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above .com. I can answer any of your questions. Also, um, my July kit is going to be using the Happiness Abounds, so watch for information on that soon. Also, if you would like to be added to my newsletter list, that's where I send out all of this information, so you make sure you don't miss anything. Um Pop me an email and say, please add me to your newsletter list. I would be happy to do that. I don't think I have anything else tonight, you guys. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure. Let me see if I can flip this baby around. I don't know if I can while I'm recording or not. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I could flip it around, but I can't. Only when I'm really live. You guys have a wonderful 4th of July. Please be safe. Do something special to celebrate. And um, I will be back Sunday, July 10th at 7 p.m. Central Time. I will be live. And I'll try to share some pictures with you from South Park. And if I catch any fish, I'll share some pictures of that with you too. And you'll probably maybe get to see a picture of the gash in Steve's head. He came in the house tonight and he's like, Kelly, I need your help down here. So I go downstairs, you know, meander my way downstairs. Here he stood up and bashed his head on the cabinet he was working on. And he has this big gash in his forehead. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, poor guy. But anyways, I bandaged him up. I took a picture first and sent it to Val because she's going to say, Papa, boo-boo, Papa, boo-boo. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Please don't forget to share my video. I always appreciate your orders. You can find my online ordering button right here at www.estampabove.com. And right under this video is going to be a link that will give you all the information. You can get the catalog registration. You can find my online classes. You'll find a link to my blog post. I'm also going to try to put a link right up here that is going to take you to my blog post. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me. I always appreciate you guys. Again, happy 4th of July. I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.